Hello, in the second video about electrostatics, we will speak about the quantity and the conservation of electric charge. In the first video, we mentioned that the protons are positively charged, the electrons are negatively charged, and the neutrons are neutral. However, we haven't brought up the magnitudes of their charges. The charge of an electron is negative 1.6 times 10 power minus 19 coulomb. The charge of a proton is positive 1.6 times 10 power minus 19 coulomb. And the charge of the neutron is zero. In most atoms, there are as many electrons as protons, which makes the net charge zero. If the atom loses or gains electrons, it becomes charged. The quantity of charge depends on the number of gained or lost electrons, Q equal N times E, where Q is the quantity of charge in coulombs, N is the number of lost or gained electrons, and E is the charge of one electron, also known as the elementary charge. The absolute value of the magnitude of the elementary charge is 1.6 times 10 power minus 19 coulombs. Note that this equation gives the absolute value of the charge Q. When the body lacks n electrons, the quantity of charge Q will be positive. If the body has excess n electrons, Q will be negative. Consider a neutral plastic ruler and a piece of cloth. In both the ruler and the cloth, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. Rub the plastic ruler with the cloth. Due to friction, some electrons are transferred from the piece of cloth to the plastic ruler. The cloth has lost electrons, therefore it becomes positively charged. The ruler has gained electrons, therefore it becomes negatively charged. The number of electrons gained by the ruler is exactly equal to that lost by the cloth. It means that the charge of the system ruler cloth is conserved. Let's state the law of conservation of electric charge. The total charge of an electrically isolated system is conserved. Consider two conductors of charges Q1 and Q2 which are brought to contact. At electric equilibrium, the charge of the first becomes Q1 prime and the charge of the second becomes Q2 prime. The electric charge is conserved. If the first gains n electrons, then the second loses n electrons. The sum of the algebraic values of the charges before contact is equal to their sum after contact. Q1 plus Q2 equal Q1 prime plus Q2 prime. Where Q1 is the charge of object 1 before contact, Q2 is the charge of object 2 before contact, Q1 prime is the charge of object 1 after contact, and Q2 prime is the charge of object 2 after contact. What happens if the two conductors have the same size, shape, material, and other characteristics? Such two conductors are called identical conductors. Regardless of their charge before contact, they will have the same charge after contact. So Q1 prime equals Q2 prime. If the two conductors are identical, the charge is distributed equally between them Q1 prime equals Q2 prime equals Q1 plus Q2 over 2. Now let's check your understanding. 